Hello, welcome back guys. So last in the last video we have installed the w, w, WPA supplicant uh, software tool so that we can work with our hex key and uh, generate the hex key that we need for our configuration file. So the next step uh, that we'll be doing is we will use that command uh, from the WPA and we just type in our command line WPA underscore passphrase and just tap to finish that. And then the next thing you need to do is um, uh, put in your SSID minus broken sword. And then put in your uh, passphrase. I'm not going to put in like, the actual passphrase for security uh, obvious reasons uh, here. So I'm just going to put like a fake dummy uh, passphrase uh, that I'm just going to make up like um, hello world. Okay. And then just press enter. And then if you notice the output is uh there's like four or five lines here, but I can't find my uh, mouse here. Okay. Uh so it shows the uh, you have enter broken sword has your SSID and then your uh, PSK is the uh, passphrase it use is hello world. And this is the hex key generated from uh, these two combinations is the important part we need to copy. So highlight that part and control C for copy. And then go back to your notepad and then okay, paste that uh, there for now. And then the next part we need to do is uh, we need to uh, go back to the instruction first. Okay. Create a file called interface underscore uh, wireless LAN zero here in a notepad. So that's what I have done. And then you want to type this out, uh, all, all of this out. It's actually from the website, so if you get lost, you know, go back here or over here. That's the same thing. But here, I'll slow down for a moment so you can type this out. Basically, type auto l o and then you know i i f and then if face l o and then you know i net loop back and so on. Auto and all that stuff here, here type this here and then again if you understand or if you want to understand what all these uh, parameters uh, you know stands for all I have to do is go back here and it gives you the, all the definition you ever want <laughs> okay so like here is w proto you know you choose WPA if you're using the WPA1 RSN if you're using the WPA2 I'm using the the WPA, so it's because uh, it's the first one. But it all depends on your own setting at home, okay? And again, uh, look at this part. Uh, it's the scan. One means it's uh, not hidden. So mine is open broadcast. Broadcast. Uh, you can if your network is uh, hidden, then it's going to be two. And then uh, this is the encryption type. And then this is the WPA PSK. It's the uh, um, security wireless security I'm using. And okay, so okay, th this is the part where you need to enter your uh, SSID minus broken sword. Okay, and then the last thing you do is get the hex key you uh, generated from the uh, command line and paste it here. Okay, paste it here. Oh crap. Yeah, my mouse is acting up here. I can't. Okay, let's control. Okay. Yeah, it's down. Okay. Okay. Why are you acting up? PSK. <laughs> this is crazy. Let me just copy this again from the. Uh, okay, uh. Yeah, no Papa Plus is kind of act, acting up right now, so I'm gonna just copy here and paste it. Okay, whatever. Well, that's important. I'm gonna just type it out again. PSK. Oh wait. Oh, I know why. Because I was zoom in a little too far. Whoops. Okay, that should work. Uh, Control S for save the file. So this is your configuration file. Are you gonna need to? Oh, okay. The next thing you need to do is create a file in the terminal, the same name using uh, V. Right now, it's on like just the uh, 
this is the desktop or whatever you call it, the terminal top or okay. But vi create a file called interfaces underscore wlan for uh, easy uh, identification. So this is the file where you can store your configuration here, and then once in here, um, click I for insert because you're using the VI editor. Okay, now you need to copy all of this stuff here, all of it, all of it, and then go here, click on this win window, and then right click to paste everything here. Well, I did it twice, didn't it? Yeah, I did it twice, so I'm gonna re redo this. Uh, so if you want to quit without saving in the VI editor, just uh, hit escape and then do the colon and then Q and then the uh, exclamation mark. And let's redo this part again. I and then right click to paste. There you go. So again, this is your uh, SSID and then this is your hex key generated using the uh, command tool we used earlier. And make sure you change all the appropriate settings according accordingly okay so escape uh, colon X to save there we go now let's double check see if the file is, contains all the necessary information and it does here we go okay so um, this is uh, this is what I have but I remember I used the false uh, passphrase for security uh, reasons so now I'm gonna pull out my actual, um, my let's see. So my actual configuration is in my documents. So I made a bunch of conf configuration files for different uh, wireless cars here, but the one I'm gonna be using is the uh, WLAN zero. That's the one with the actual passphrase. But okay, let's go back to our instruction. Okay, so we have done that. Insert paste. Okay, next thing we do is overwrite the uh, configuration file in the uh, you know the network directory. So we need to do is sudo copy. So sudo copy uh, interface underscore wlan zero. That's the one I uh, you should have that one. Okay, and then do copy to etc. Networking network and then overwrite the interface part uh, at this point um, uh, since you just uh, this is the first time doing it then I recommend saving this in, into a uh, different uh, location so you may go back to it if you wanted to just make an actual copy of this interfaces file I already have done I already done so so I am not con uh, have concern for that so I'm just going to overwrite this file here and then enter password Okay. Now I'm gonna go into. Uh, let's go back here. I'm gonna check my file again and uh, make sure I have. Oh, well, I can't do that because that will show the password was not safe. But if you want to check, see if the uh, the uh, hex key is in there. You do this thing, network, and then interface, and press enter. You should see your file. Make sure it has been changed. Alright, so the next step is. Uh, so we've done that. Next thing we need to do is uh, we need to turn off our uh, Ethernet cable, uh, the, the LAN. Okay, so we can test our wireless network. So, okay, uh, whoopsie. <laughs> sudo, we do sudo uh, IP link set W, uh, no, Ethernet. Zero, turn it down, right there. Okay, that should be down. So that's good. That's good. Oh dang it! No, no. All right. Uh, next thing we need to do is restart the uh, network uh, or networking. Okay. Sudo, uh, etc. Init d networking restart okay and that should um, restart everything and then switch to the wireless instead of the LAN hopefully uh, 
Alright, um, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it should be good. Alright, it works. Okay, then, then next thing we do is check uh, Wi-Fi status using the IW config. So if you notice uh, now that um, my uh, wireless LAN car is working because the access point has been uh, assigned, and we know it's working, and the quality, and we know everything, uh, signal, everything, and one more thing I'm gonna mention, like the uh, wireless car, uh, like on the panel board, is not very, very good because uh, the signal level is not very low. So actually, I went online, actually bought a uh, better wireless USB wireless uh, adapter, so that I can have better signal in a, for a long-range application, like controlling a robot or whatever. But anyways, uh, we're almost done here. Uh, next thing we need to do is test, uh, ping some kind of a host. So ping www.google.com and it works, uh, voila. Now you have set up your own wireless uh, network on your panda board. Alright, control C and then uh, cancel it and then go back here. And, uh, if that doesn't work, you need to reboot uh, using this uh, command, sudo reboot. Okay, but I'm not gonna reboot because. Uh, uh, okay, I got two more things I want to mention. Uh, security option. Uh, like I mentioned, if someone was to hack to your system and look your interface file, they can see your hex hex key, and then that's that's not good. So you want to add a uh, null level of um, security on top of that by changing the uh, uh, take out the re option for the uh, other users using this sudo change mod uh, o equals minus r and then you know the rest is history okay uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say yeah like okay so um, on the pen board every time you reboot you um, just keep in mind that the network manager is gonna reset or assign all the names and stuff so be careful when you have multiple uh, wireless adapter on board it's gonna switch up the name so be careful with that I have uh, come across that early on but other than that uh, good luck um, set up your wireless uh, car on your panda board and then uh, basically look at these three websites which helped me uh, tremendously thanks for watching uh, I'll keep you posted